Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. This is your host, Leading Man. And I'm the Akari Warrior. And today, we're taking a look at the Twilight Cathedral. Also known as Let's Play Darksiders The Demo. Yeah, I never actually got a chance to play the demo since I bought it before that came out, but apparently it's this entire area. Yeah, you get you get the Twilight Cathedral for free, so you can play along with us for free on your Xbox. Or uh, your PlayStation 3, most likely. Yeah, either way. Yeah, I can't actually guarantee it's on the PlayStation Network, but I'm pretty certain it is. Yeah, I can guarantee you it's on Xbox. Ooh, well, la di da, Mr. Frenchman. Look who did his research. <laughs> So that soul chest was sort of secret. It's not really important since it's only like, I don't know, what, a hundred souls? Yeah, I don't think I knew it was there, actually. Yeah, it's certainly not critical for anything. Hey, listen! I also like how they decided to subtitle this line that never actually gets said, just to give you instructions about how to use the blade. I don't know, it always felt a little bit superfluous to me. I mean, it's pretty easy to figure out exactly what to do just by looking at this statue with a blade. And then this one over here, which has open waiting arms and no blade. It just goes together. What I like about it is that it uh, they took a page from something that I've always said, and they uh, and they actually made like those decorative swords, like something you can actually like use in combat. Yeah, I do like that when you actually pick up the sword, you just swing and use it, and we're talking over a very awesome cutscene. Not that I had anything more to say about that, but yeah, it's... Sweet. Yes, yes we are. I, I, I appreciate it. And he just flies away. Oh, and by the way, he is actually fighting the angelic mount that we rode in on, so, you know, there's some info for you. Yeah, that's, uh, that is definitely cool. That, that angelic mount can throw down. No kidding. It certainly lasts a long time against the, you know, end boss of this area. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, anyways, the one thing I dislike about the sword things... You know, I'm, I'm actually not going to say this. Well, you know, uh, God, regardless of the... I guess I really don't like the sword things because they don't make a whole lot of sense for a locking mechanism built for in a cathedral that was supposedly built by human beings, but this game doesn't really make a whole lot of sense across the board. Yeah, I was... Wondering if you're actually gonna may pick up on that. I picked up on that, I think, while I was playing uh, playing through the demo. Yeah, I mean, mo most of the time when people talk about this game not having a lot of realism, it doesn't really bother me. This is the one area in the game where it kind of, sort of does. It, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense altogether. At least when you come from the opinion that's, that you're supposed to accept this place has been built by human beings, um, it just doesn't work. I mean, unless the demons built it when they were, you know, sitting around bored. Well, you have to bear in mind also that, I mean, the... this... it's unlikely that this was... that the, the locking mechanisms in this cathedral were made by humans, considering that the apocalypse basically happened during present day. And unless there's a legacy of Cain-esque, you know, gap in time where there is some kind of human resistance against the demons, you know, I don't see that kind of scenario actually happening. That's not really what I mean. I mean, it's... Oh, God, it's hard for me to explain because it's, you know, 6 a.m. to me here. But, uh, I guess... I guess what I'm looking for is it just feels inconsistent. I mean... I mean, this place obviously had to have been built by human beings. I mean, like, what what kind of demon would build a statue in the middle of this courtyard of an angel dancing on top of a fountain or whatever the hell that thing is, and all the locking mechanisms are angels and swords, and... I mean, unless we have one hell of an artistic licensed demon here... Well, I mean, there are angels in this reality, too. Yeah, there are, but they're not, like sculpting things right now. They're running around with guns. <laughs> that or they're dead. Well, there is that too. I mean, I... The only thing I could think of would be that maybe this maybe this whole area was designed before they, you know, had, had a complete vision of what they wanted to do. Like, maybe they made this section and they were like, yeah, Darksiders is gonna be all about this. You know, and there's these cool puzzles and then, you know, and you got these... You got these doors. No, I, I'm and willing to bet this you know discussion it, they, uh... never, ever happened. 
I'm willing to bet that no oh. one bothered to ask in any meeting that ever occurred why there's locks that can only be opened by being hit by magical devices and secret swords that unlock things. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm going with this never occurred, no one questioned it. My money says their level designer went wild and just no one questioned yeah, it. Yeah, that could be. I'm probably... But see, my problem is that I'm always giving these guys more credit than <laughs> than they probably deserve. Oh, hey, bomb growths. These things are sort of a mix between, say, like, uh, Halo Sticky Grenade and the bomb flowers from Zelda. From from which game? I've never heard of bomb flowers in any Zelda game. What are you talking about? What? This game's completely original. Shut oh, up. Oh, God, thank God. I, I could not tell if that was sarcasm there for a second. You know, how dare you? You have gone and played with my emotions, sir. Just like the internet played with mine, everybody hates me. Wow. You know, now everybody's going to. You know <laughs> yeah, you do this to every... yourself, right? Yeah, it's true. Everyone's You're like, oh, why does everybody gonna... hate me? Oh. And then they That's do. That's true. No one, no one likes an emo bitch. Yeah, well, good job. Anyway, we get a life essence. Um... Actually, I swear to God, I've gotten a uh, Wrath Core, uh, Ra <laughs> Wrath Shard. Fuck, uh, Wrath Essence. Right. Yeah, that's what it is. I swear I've gotten one of those there before instead of the uh, Life Essence. Maybe it's random. I don't know. I've gotten. Uh, I've actually the past two times I've played this this dungeon, uh, once in my regular playthrough and again in the demo, I uh, I had gotten an Undying. But maybe it's because I was playing on Apocalyptic, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, hey look, a map! Fancy. So yeah, it works like every other map, every other video game. Um, I don't, I don't remember, is, I can't, I don't think there's a compass. Is there a compass? Uh, no. Okay. Then, yeah. The only thing that, the only thing that's, um, the only thing that is close to the compass would be a Horde Seeker. Which shows you the locations of all the treasure chests. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you actually get one of those automatically when you do that treasure hunting thing for Volgrim. Right, at the crossroads. Yeah. God, I love this area. It just looks so fucking disgusting. <laughs> anyway, that's basically the only reason we come over here was for those uh, souls. The bats will, of course, try to knock you down. As they do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We can actually head back into the other room. And we'll go down the giant hole we created when we push that statue off the ledge, so on and so forth. You know, speaking of that thing, where the hell did it go? Uh, it went, it slipped through the cracks and melted into lava. What, through the little grate? Yes. Yeah, no. Well, you do better. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I'm tired and I don't want to. 